Hello, Aquariuses. Welcome to your love reading for January 2024. If it resonates, consider a personal pre recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646 902 5715. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit Angels, if I get the universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Aquariuses for love for <clears throat> January of 2024? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, make them closer to the universe and closer to the divine? Can you please show me the love energies that Aquarius passed out of prior to January? We have the Two of Wands in the upright. Make sure you click on your Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling. In that spread, I'll have something you do not know about them in addition to if they're seeing or interested in somebody else. Energies to expect in January. We have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. All righty. In my playlist, your 2024 Sun Moon readings. I only have a few more left to do. You can still put your requests in the comments. 2023s are still in there. See if they rang true for you or somebody that you know. And we end on the Ace of Wands in reverse um, as you move out of January into February. Finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, refer a friend in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. Let's start off with the Two of Wands in the upright. So what I'm seeing here is prior to January, the consideration of connecting with somebody and having a partnership with someone, but you're still not sure. I mean, if you see this guy, he's kind of leaning on the thing. He's thinking about it. He's just, you know, kind of surveying everything and wondering what he should do. He has those two wands kind of next to him. Um, you're kind of deciding, should you pursue something with a particular person? Or are you fine just kind of sticking with being how you are at this present time? I think you're kind of waiting. You were kind of waiting to see how things kind of shake out um, because you're not really sure. So you're sitting on things. Uh, two of wands and the upright is a stationary card for me. It's not really a card of action. It's just kind of sitting on things and saying, well, let me see how things play out and maybe that'll make my decision easier for me as I move along. Now, I think your decision is going to be made easier for you because um, with the Page of Pentacles in the reverse in January, I think you're going to start seeing things about this person that aren't very appetizing. So some of the things might be arrogance. Some of the things might be extravagant. Some of the things might be um, acting like they're very entitled to things, uh, very haughty. So I think you're going to see an aspect to them when it comes to money and financial things. They could be very shallow, um, you know, things of that nature. And I think that you're not going to be um, very excited about this person anymore. And I think they're going to be making the decision easier for you um, in January. And then as we move out of January into February with the Ace of Wands in reverse, this is where you just, the fire has entirely gone out. I think you've seen too many things about this person um, that just, you know, isn't going to click with you, your lifestyle, you know, the two of you don't have enough in common and you're not really enthused to move forward or kind of reach out or inspired to continue it. So, I mean, the fire might've shot up pretty high, but now it's just not even embers kind of sitting there as, as they turn into ash. So... Um, yeah, there's something I feel that's very off-putting about this person. Another thing might be that they're just um, obsessed with either the almighty dollar or the almighty work. And um, to you, I don't think that's going to sit well with you. You all enjoy having your leisure time for sure. So, and enjoying life. So why is the two of wands here in the upright for Aquarius's for love? Prior to January, who's this person? What's this energy? Yeah, you're really taking into consideration. This person isn't your only prospect. I think you have a lot of prospects out there. You had a lot of prospects out there that you were talking to. So it's not just narrowed down to one person. And you're kind of surveying and saying, well, I have all these ships to pick from. Which one am I going to choose? And this, this person happens to be kind of out there um, amongst these ships. A lot of communication going on with this person back and forth. The two of you are talking, getting to know each other, um, you know, but I think there's communications also with other people. I also feel like some people are trying to, um, were trying to kind of push forward quickly with you, um, kind of tie you down, so to speak. Um, and I feel as though you still want to explore things and, and kind of have a looser approach, so to speak. Um, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse kind of tells me that it's the foreboding of this. 
this. I think there's something about this particular person and it, they've changed in some way and they haven't changed for the better. It's, it's changed um, for the not so good and you're getting a sense of this and you guys have great intuition. So um, that could very well be the case as you start heading into uh, January, which I mean is this week actually, or the next few days. Um, why is the Page of Pentacles here in reverse for Aquarius's for love for January? Yeah, you're, so this person, you're finding things about them. Seven of Swords in the upright. There, there's things that they're doing that um, they shouldn't be doing. So there's things, um, the Thief card in the upright is known to be a very sly individual who does things and doesn't get caught doing them. Um, it could be having, um, you know, you know, sneaking around. It could be not being faithful. It could be having a hidden agenda. It could be, you know, anything in that regard, cutting corners, slacking, things like that. So, I mean, maybe at work, they're not, you know, the best worker and they just kind of take from the till. And, you know, so their character is coming into question here. And somebody is going to come forward with this Nine of Swords and Upright and tell you the truth in regards to this person. I think that's going to start making it a little more clear, clearer to you. It is. It's going to be kind of shocking when they kind of let you know all this person, all the things this person has been up to, um, and what they've been doing. And I think that you all being about justice and fairness and equality and a humanitarian, just none of this is going to sit well with you. And with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, you're realizing that this is not a very equal uh, connection. You are a very different person from this other person. You know, what motivates you and what drives you is very different from this other pro person. So I think that is where the um, you're just starting to realize that this person may not be for you. And as I said, with the Ace of Wands in reverse, this is where you're totally unenthused. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, the King of Pentacles in the upright. I feel as though when you start to show that you're not very enthused by them, uh, I think they're going to try to come in and or they're going to try to attach themselves to you in some way. Um, they're going to be very dependent on what you're thinking, what your actions are, things of that nature, because... I see them being that way with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. You know, what are you doing? What are you up to? What are you doing tomorrow? You know, all of a sudden, um, that's going to have their attention as you kind of pull away. But I see you with the King of Pentacles in the upright, just addressing them very coolly. Not so interested anymore. A huge disinterest. Um, same thing here with the Four of Cups in the upright. They're making you offers. You're very apathetic towards their offers, rejecting their offers, not interested and very focused on what's to come rather than um, this person. So um, I think, you know, there's a push pool kind of dynamic going on here but I think that you're going to decide that you don't want to play games and you may exit stage right so that's what I have for you all if it does resonate consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646-902-5715 otherwise make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling in that spread of something you do not know about them in addition to if they're seeing or interested in somebody else in my playlist your 2024 sun moon readings 20 2023s are still in there. See if they rang true for you or someone else. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, Aquarius, I will see you in your Vimeo reading. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.